All right, now let's finally solve some ODEs with the first method being separation of variables. So the goal for this is to solve separable ODEs ODE, which are just ODE of the form. of the form dy over dt equals f of t over g of y. So a function of t divided by a function of y. And we will see lots of ODEs can be put in this form. And in fact, let's solve one of them. Solve dy over dt equals 2t over y squared. And I do want to mention what I'll present now is a motivation just to see why what we're doing is true. But in the next examples, we'll find a much faster way of doing this. So the first thing we want to do here is to separate the variables meaning put all the y on one side and all the t on the other side. On one side. And all the t on the other. Because that's the t. So let's do this. In this case, we want to put all the t on one side. So let's divide by, um, sorry, I want to say put all the y on one side. So let's put the y squared on the left-hand side. So then we get y squared dy over dt equals 2t. That's one thing. And then, well, here we have a derivative. So one idea would be to integrate. So integrate each side with respect to t. Like, like, as I like to say, with this respect to t. So again, we have our y squared dy over dt. And then we have our 2t. And once again, integral of this dt is integral of 2d dt. Now, the left-hand side, you see a y prime t times dt. So one idea, and in fact, that's the correct idea, is to use a u sub. And in fact, it might not seem like so, but separation of variables is based on u substitution. So let's do a u sub. Now, usually it's u equals something, but here let's do y equals a function of t. And in particular, dy then becomes y prime of t dt. Or more explicitly, dy over dt dt. And this is great because this appears precisely here. And so after the u sub, the left-hand side then simply becomes integral of y squared dy. dy equals integral of 2t dt. And now we can find antiderivatives. So this becomes one third y cubed plus a constant and then t squared. Now, usually you put plus c, but careful, the second constant might be different from the first one. So we put c prime, just to emphasize that it's possibly a different constant.
and then we can then rearrange because we want to solve for y. So one third y cubed equals t squared plus c prime minus c. But here's the thing, this c prime minus c, that is an arbitrary constant. So just like we've done before, we just rewrite this as C. So what we get is essentially Y cubed then becomes 3T squared plus 3C, which once again, C is arbitrary. So is 3C. And so what we get is Y cubed is 3T squared plus c, and then just take cube root, and y is cube root of 3t squared plus c. And that's your solution. So let me write this down. y is cube root of 3t squared plus c. Let's see. And I want to remind you, because I've seen this mistake a lot, this is not the same thing as cube root of 3t squared plus c. Because remember, in general, cube root of a plus b is not cube root of a. It's cube root of b. You can't just separate it like that. Wonderful. So as I said, this was a motivational example for separation of variables. So you can see that it's really based on use of. And in the next example, we'll just do this faster.